as you can see now we're in a, a different area now. and I'm wet but this is what a cenote looks like it's an underground pool it's all fresh water so this pool is about 70 meters deep and it's all underground I mean take a look at that Tortillas, pork and chili verde. Authentic, authentic. We're getting the hook up, y'all. Polo's the man. He's the man. <laughs> so, we're in for a real treat. Polo has introduced us to uh, one of his friends uh, at a Mayan family, and she's going to help name? cook our uh, our lunch for us. We brought her some pork and some uh, chiles. Uh, she's going to make fresh tortillas for us, and this is just a treat. This is about as about as real and authentic as it can get. So this is this is super cool, super nice. She's a super nice lady. Just good to see what a traditional Mayan village looks like. They have a lot of land. They always have pets. Trying to the Virgin Mary. She always uh, she makes all of these. She makes them, they sell them at the market. This is how exactly the Mayas built the house in the past. Uh -huh. Look at what they use. Oh, whoops. Can you see that house? Yeah. yeah. That's a, a modern house, it's, it's concrete. Mm -hmm. You know, these people, they don't have money to pay a concrete house. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the very rich people coming from the government in the vocation times, they come here. They are very rich in Thailand, Carmen, the government. They see these families really poor. They need it because the hurricane season. Okay. Normally yes. in the hurricane season, these people is looking for, like the ancient Mayas, in cave sites yeah. uh -huh. to hide from the really strong wind. Really? So the government decided to help them building this. But they don't like to stay too much like that. Yeah. Because it's not fresh. They, like they like it like this. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this Typical is Mayan place. houses. Hey dad. Monkey. Mm -hmm. We have a monkey friend over here. This is the place where they sleep. In the hammocks. In the hammocks? Yeah. Hi. In the past was just a wooden uh, bed. They don't have too many stuff. No, it's just no. like this in my house. No. They only have the main. They don't have internet. They yeah. don't have. Uh, they have cell phones, but they only use it when they go out in big cities. They Kay. try to discover. But this one, the cell phone signal. No. You see, it's dead. Yeah. Uh -huh. So they don't have computers. They don't have economic problems. They don't have uh, very global warming. Very they don't simple. Have very simple. They don't have problems about cartels like in Florida. Yeah. Family, you know, well, Carmen, you can see Federals on Fifth Avenue. Yeah, yeah, we, we saw we exactly. saw them. Exactly, and here they don't need police. No, it's mm. very it's cool. very, it's very the community takes exactly. care of everybody. Yes, it's that is cool. that is amazing. Like in this community. Exactly, and this lady is really happy here. If you offer to her to go play the Carmen and you give a house to her, mm. she say no. No. She too many problems. To be here, she likes here. They are scared of too much traffic, too yeah. much people. They are they they born here. Yeah. They grow up here. Oh, I thought it was a. I thought it was a wild monkey. No, it's a pet. It's, it's a pet monkey. Hey, buddy. Yeah, in a Maya society, in a village like this, is something normal. They have pets. Yeah. Yeah, because the husband <laughs> is working in a jungle, so it's hunting in the jungle. This is too cool, guys. It's all the kids are gonna perform for us. Oh, 
Great oh, job. Very Great job. Good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> that kid can sure blow the hell out of a conch shell. I know I can't. That was really nice of them. Hey, Dad. This is the bigger deer we have in the Central America. That's that's not a white tail. I don't know what that is. No. No, they just. No, he's not hungry. <laughs> he's not hungry. <laughs> not hungry. They have a pet deer. Look at that. Need it some point. Or? Normally, when they catch this animal, is when they kill mama. Uh -huh. and they take it like a, a pet and then they grow it no it's not hungry yeah they like this plant but not hungry today no that's that's a white tail yes white tail deer scola blanca scola blanca it's coming it's coming you can give it Hey buddy. Hi buddy. You're a good boy. Hey, you stem? No? You're gonna be a big deer one day. I can't say it's super cool. This is an authentic Mayan family farm. Polo is letting us, and they are letting us into their home. And it is just so cool. It is, it is just awesome. Like, these people live so humbly. And it's just amazing that, you know, in the US, it's just so material, but they are so humble here. And they just, they're happy. They're one with they're one with nature and the outside and everything around them and they utilize everything and it's just it's great to see it's humbling to look at. So I'm very grateful for this. This is so cool. We're not used to spicy like this. Um, no? No, not at all. Um, I saw you eating, I thought you you like spicy. I do, but we don't eat it a lot. It's no, not no. like an everyday meal kind of thing. Mm. Make our nose run. Clear, sac clear yeah. the sinuses. <laughs> it's normal. Happen, happen soon. It's probably one of the best meals you could ever have. Right there. It was amazing. It's so good. Thank you again. That was 
Super cool. We got some tortillas. Like I said, we got some tortillas to take, homemade tortillas to take back to mom and Brenna. This was super cool. This was awesome. So we're in this new area now. Uh, Punta Laguna? Yeah, it's, it's the, yeah, it's, this is, is the area? name of this community. It's okay. Called, yeah, it's called Punta Laguna. Okay. Yeah. And so, can you say the uh, Mayan name again? Uh, uh, Mayan name is called Otoj. It's, it's the home. Mash is the monkey name. Yetelco is, a, is, is the name of the puma. Okay. It's the home of the monkeys with a cougar. Okay. Yeah, it's the name of this area. Very cool. So we're in this new area now. We're going to see if we can find some monkeys and cougars. See if we can find any. Oh, we have lots of those in the no, States. No, no, no crocodile. <laughs> <laughs> crocodile, they take care of this time. This legume is really pretty. Yes, this is a place. A big one. Uh, it's called, uh, it's, uh, there are many people uh, every day and come to swim here. Because uh, for the mornings, I don't see the crocodile at night. Uh, because in the other side of the legume, the lagoon is just absolutely beautiful. And they say there's a puma that lives on the opposite side of it because it's the dry season and that it knows that everything else will be coming here toward the, to water. He knows exactly where to find them almost every day. Now we're going to go look for some monkeys. This is an ant trail. You see me, friend? This uh, is an ant trail. It's a ant? leaf carry ants. Le oh, uh, leaf cutters. Leaf carry ants. Very early for the morning, they carry leaves and Normally those ants, they like it to climb on the back trees to cut it, to cut the leaves of the trees up there and go straight to put in the big right. nest up there. Yeah. Yeah, they, because normally they are on, on, the, on the leaves and grow uh, pongos, all of the babies live inside the ground, they eat in pongos there. Okay. Yeah, they have a big nest there. There's the nest. It's a leaf cutter ant nest. There's another one over there, all over this. That's an ant nest. So we found some right above us. I don't know how well you can see it on this camera. If not, I'll put some pictures on it later. We are back at the hotel now. Got back from snorkeling, saw a few fish. Saw a can, saw a ray, eel, all that cool stuff. Ooh, I'm tired. I'm tired to go. I, I, I have never reviewed anything, but I am going to sit here or review and view the next year. We just had an awesome time. And this is my personal car. Oh, yes. Yeah. It's yeah. when they want to meet for, they want to connect with the entry, the best way to find it is for that. Great. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Polo. Great. This guy's the man. He knows, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I think they're all, I think she's feeling better than the rest of the day. So uh, we'll have a great day tomorrow. So thank you yes. very much. Yes. Thank time. you so much. Gracias, amigo. I'm an All right. So I have a chance. Hook up with Polo. He is the way to go. He's one of the best guys I've ever had. He knows so much about the area. He's made the whole trip really fun. So definitely look him up. But now it's time for food and showers and going to bed early. So tomorrow we got a fishing trip planned, so we'll have some great footage of that. But other than that, I'm going to leave it right here for today. We'll see you all in the next video.